hey guys it's prime side and welcome back to my channel if you're just joining us for the first time on this video please do well to hit the subscribe button down there and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for checking us out again and so today I'll, I'll be making a whitening oil a lightning oil with natural ingredient that is effective and is safe for the skin well if you have been meaning to lighten up your skin maybe one shade lighter or two and you've been thinking of mixing um several different oils sold in the market um to achieve these um, i don't think there's any need when you can achieve this with the mix of natural ingredients and natural lightning active so today today i'll be making these and to make these i'll be needing my mixing bowl or beaker here i have a beaker but you can use a mixing bowl and then i also have my spatula for mixing and also you can substitute this with your spoon if you do not have a spatula so these are my actives and these are my oils oils and actives so um for oil i have my sunflower oil sunflower is oil is a light carrier oil that is good for skin uh, formulations it's really it's really affordable and it penetrates to the skin very fast so i also have uh, been needing grapeseed oil grapeseed oil is a very fine oil that is extracted from the grape seed and is beautiful when you're making a direct oil to the skin also i'll be needing a golden jojoba oil this one is good for lightening product and suitable for all skin types for my actives here i have my kojic acid dipalmitate this one is more stable than the main kojic acid and this is also the oil soluble kind of kojic acid because you can't use the main kojic acid for your oils so we have sim white powder this is a very effective lightning powder it is two times better than kojic acid that palmitive and is 100 percent natural it's also a lightning powder that that um, lighting potently without giving any form of reactions like green veins and stretch marks and all that but it is very expensive so you can also choose to use only sim white it's also very potent and then here i have my snow white oil i actually mix this snow white with almond oil so i have about 10 to 20 percent of snow white there okay so that's 30 ml actually but i have just about 10 to 20 percent of snow white oil in it okay because i do not want this to be too um harsh i like i like to achieve my lightning very gradually well my actives here are oil soluble this means that if you use an, a water soluble active it will not dissolve in your oil so my kojic acid that permeates and my sim wife and even the snow white oil they are all oil soluble i would also like to have to infuse a herb in my oil so i'll be using calendula um bolts here or calendula flower whichever way you'd call it you can use you can substitute this for rose you can substitute with um chamomile and what have what have you so i want to use um calendula here in this recipe so i'm going to add all my oils together also remember that you can just use one oil if you can afford three and you can use more than three as well if you want So because my actives are oil soluble, the kojip acid that permeate and the sim white, they're both um, oil soluble. So I'm just going to transfer some oils into them to dissolve them. I'm heating up the same white oil a little to so that it can totally dissolve because I have a little particle in it. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm having my Snow White oil in my oil mix. And then my already dissolved Sim White oil. My kojic acid that permitted did not fully dissolve, so I'll just take it to my double boiler and then I'll miss. Kojic acid would actually take time to dissolve, plus it's gonna take a temperature of about 90 to 96 degrees Celsius to fully dissolve. So here it's fully dissolved, but um, I'll also advise that you let it cool down before you pour it actually if you're a beginner else is going to solidify quickly in the oil and may form particles except you go and heat it again so i have my oil mix here with my actives and i won't forget my vitamin e oil which is an antioxidant and is very necessary for oil recipes like this it will help the oils in this recipe not to go around seed that means they will not expire on time so um the vitamin e oil will actually improve the shelf life of this oil i'll be going in with few drops of essential oil into my recipe and a mild fragrance into my oil at least to have a good smell just a few drops as well After adding all this together, I'm going to give this oil a very fine mix. If you've watched this video to this point, please don't forget to subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button and support me. Also give this video a thumb up if um, you're satisfied. And then do not forget to follow our social media handles. You can check for links down there in the description box. Also, if you want to purchase um, these ingredients, we have them at our store. So you can just check for links down there in the description box to suck your natural ingredients. So our uh, oil is almost ready. I'm going to bring in my bottles and I hope you sanitized and dried them already. And so I'm just going to transfer my oils into my bottles. So I'll be going ahead to add my flour or bud. This is completely optional and it can also be substituted with rose petals, um, um, chamomile buds, um, lavender buds or what have you. It is just um, for beauty, just for the beauty, especially when you have rose buds and especially when the oil is translucent. This oil is going to help to achieve a safe natural lightening. It's going to give one to two shades brightening and it's definitely not for a dark skin. So if this video is helpful to you, uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumb up, subscribe to this channel and always support my videos. Thank you so much for stepping by and thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, for now, take care.